Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's Kirby. And Kirby. And Kirby. <laughs> Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Let's fast forward this a bit. Okay, see? It was a peaceful world. Peaceful world of Dreamland. And it's great danger. It's in great danger. And Dreamland dreams always flow from the wonderful mountain fountain of dreams. The fountain dream collected the hopes and dreams of all living things. It's very cool. It's also responsible for the cheap dreams and rest that comes from deep sleep. But one day, everyone in Dreamland lost the ability to dream. King Diddy was bathing in the fountain of dreams like the fat freaking penguin he is. He had even taken the star on the source of the fountain power and broken it into pieces and gave it to his underlings. Now Kirby must embark on an adventure to restore nap time to all the residents of Dreamland. Cause you know, if I didn't get sleep, I'd be pissed too. Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Spoiler. There are no nightmares, but one. So we got the sub-games. We got Quick Draw, Bomb Rally, Kirby's Air Grind. They don't take too long to play, so... Can't play them. Sound test. That was fun. Sound testing that. Vegetable Valley. Kirby's got a knife. Oh no. Yeah. Now, I think this was one of the first games I played. I had a vague memory of playing it on some friend's DS Lite. Get Kirby to go super speed! Whoa! Yeah, I was playing on someone's DS Lite. I remember watching the show. I just remember seeing this, this pink buffalo absorbs people's power. This is actually my favorite Kirby's play because they use it for almost everything. They use it for Amazing Mirror, Nightmare in Dreamland, I think, Squeak Squad, Superstar. Ma no, not Mass Attack. Yeah, Superstar. It's basically. It's basically. Like, kind of like a really good sprite for Kirby. And he blinks, too. It's not the best sprite, but I think it's really good. If it was a tier, if it was a tier list of sprites, he'd be mid, uh, a little slightly above mid tier. Be, be B tier. Like I was saying, let's go. So, like I said, the first way I found Kirby was to do the show, the anime. You know, Kirby right back at you. Back when it was on, I think, four kids. Fox Fox, one two, I think they were both the same. Couldn't really tell. I just remember seeing this little puff ball. Just absorb his enemies' abilities and throw them right back at them and use them against them. And I always thought that was so powerful of them. That's why I always thought he was such like most powerful character. That's why I always used him to smash, even though I was terrible at it at the time. That's when this was not when Brawl was out. That's why and more Brawl was one of my favorite games. Yeah. But I always use him because he has the ability to copy anyone's abilities. And in my head, that sounded powerful when really Kirby was just mid tier in that game. And Mana Knight was A, a S, as not even A tier. Freaking A S plus tier, whatever you call the highest tier. I forgot what it was called. Basically, he was broken. But my brother and my, my cousin would make fun of me. Being like, Kirby's pink and he sucks. That's pretty pretty gay. It's pretty gay. But when everybody's gay, that's like freaking. Oh yeah, let's do this. Like when everybody uses the term gay as an insult. And. My brother would tell me that a lot. Oh no, I messed up so badly. My brother and cousin would tell me that a lot. And then my only, like, my only comeback. My only comeback to Kirby not being such a lame character. Or being a pink puff that inhales a lot of things. Was that one, that one really cool scene. From Brawl. That's the only thing that keeps Brawl from being at least unique. From Smash 4. That's why I love it more than Smash 4. I don't really like Smash 4 that much. Uh, is it's cutscenes. 
the gameplay and it's, it's kind of bad because it's slow and floaty. But like, cutscenes carry that whole game and so does the story mode. That's why I'm sad when the Ultimate had like bland cutscenes that barely appeared. But that one cut okay, so that one cutscene where Kirby just became from lame became lame to cool was Everyone is like riding to the mega metro, mega metro, the mega metroplex looking ship. It looks like it's full of cities and it's a whole, uh, a whole cannon on it, and everybody's heading its way. And the big metroplex freaking, freaking starship aims its blasters, its smaller blasters at like everyone's ship, and then everybody's getting shot, and then they're all freaking, everybody's kind of freaking out. Like, if they keep shooting at us, we're not gonna be able to get through. And then Kirby just comes flying in with the dragoon and destroys the head cannon, causing the whole ship to explode. And in that one scene, that one scene right there in that one in that one game, I tell them, if Kirby's so dumb, then why the heck is he, why, why is he the only one who destroyed the ship? And they're like, oh, I guess that's right, but he's not the cool one. It's the dragoon parts you get in Smash. Oh, that's dumb. I was like, yeah, but who's riding it? <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. I hate when he bounces. And yeah, that's like the only that's the only evidence I had as a kid to prove that Kirby was awesome. Nowadays, Kirby's just awesome in general. He's a god killer. He's a literal god killer. Dude. He destroys gods on a daily basis after nap time. That's what every game usually starts him waking up and destroying gods. Destroy giant galactic planet and ro destroying wish freaking clock robots. Freaking possessed evil bean wizards. And big evil queen bees. Dimension mirror dimension mirror dimension evil replicas of friends. Oh my, he's done it all basically almost. And I don't know, I never, I still kind of, like that's kind of one of my reasons why I like Kirby, but I still don't really know why I really like Kirby. I think you just like, because it was cool as a kid, and you still like it as a doll. And that's why I like Kirby. episode I can remember is the episode where they all work together to make the cards. So I can at least remember that one in the backspace. And it, it, is a memorable, it is a memorable episode that a lot of people remember it too. That's why a lot of people got to reanimating it. It's a kind of memorable, memorable episode. If you ask me. I don't know. Oh, it's close. It's a, it's a really good game. If you hear about someone saying you should play Kirby, but you don't know where to start, uh, well, unless you're some boy who plays PlayStation or Xbox, I doubt you'd be wanting to play those games. And if you do, chances are you're probably gonna get the whole. You're probably gonna have to get a whole DS or emulate it. If you have a Wii U, that's perfect. I'm pretty sure you can emulate or no, get the game, but I'm not sure. Superstar is one of the most universal games you can play. It correlates to almost every other Kirby game out there. There's a chart for it. You, you can look it up. The flow chart. So a game is just so good. Cause you got you got um you got uh, oh no you got like your, your six games 
your six games, right? Six games that literally each have their own story. Two being sequels in, in the games. This is now Superstar. I, keep in mind, Superstar Ultra is a, is a sequel to Superstar Ultra. Or no, just Superstar. Kirby Superstar. From the Super Nintendo. Uh, it was another game. It was a, it was a Kirby game. Six games in there. But two, four of them were like story based games, and the other ones I think were like mini games. And those being Spring Breeze, which was just the first game. Except Copy Buddies. It was basically just. Yeah, it was just the first game. Uh, what else? I Meta Nightmare. I think that was. Uh, I think it was Meta, the Meta Nightmare one. Yeah, stop Meta Knight from destroying Dreamland because everybody's lazy and fat. And if we don't do it, he's gonna destroy Dreamland with his halberd. And there's, there's Spring Breeze, and I know there's a great cave offensive. Nobody still knows what's off offensive about it besides the fact that you gotta get all the treasure for a good ending. And then last but not least, Milky Way's Wishes, which I think is so good. I like how everything goes quiet, and then you see Mars's body fly Galactic Nova, and then his body hits it, and then the music goes back and it glares out at you. It goes dun 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 Cause you won, and you defeated practically a demon. It's boss time. Boss time. Let's take on... The one and only Wispy Woods. Oh, that was fairly easy. Oh yeah, baby. Uh. <laughs> Ice Cream Islands! Level 2 Ice Cream Islands. Well, that was just level 1 for today. That's 12 minutes. Look at my boy go. We'll continue in next time for Ice Cream Islands. Probably be 20 minutes. Look at him go. 